Alright guys, welcome back to the second episode you are going to be seeing today. Uh, in the last episode we just got some more simulation done and we looked at the stats and uh, Blake Clark is doing really good. He's only got 10 goals though, which is kind of weird. He's got a shitload of assists. I think he has, I don't even know how many points this year. Uh, 38 I believe, or 49 or so. I really don't know. Maybe he has, pretty sure he has 38 assists. Yeah, 10 goals, 38 assists, 48 points there. And Stamkos is just ripping it up on a whole nother level right now player who I mean Kucherov could be playing a little bit better playing alongside these two studs so what I'm gonna do for the next 10 games we're gonna write down both of their stats and then we're gonna look at 10 games or quickly just get my uh, get my notepad out here so quickly we're gonna go ahead and check their stats and we're gonna move them we move him up and move him down. So the Prodigy, Piro B-I-G-Y, has how many points? He has 35 points. 35 in 49, okay. And then we um, are going to go check out Kucherov. And Kuch, Kuchi baby. And then Kuchi baby. Kuchi, Kuchi, Kuchi. Kuchi has 37 points. I think that's his new nickname right there. He has 37 points. We're going to go 10 games here. Uh, how's Tom Wilson? Oops, no, I didn't mean to go to that. How's Tom Wilson doing? Uh, I haven't really, didn't really check his stats um Tom Wilson has 12 points so uh, not too great much better last year when he had 20 whatever points but we're gonna go 10 games like I just said so one two three that's four five six seven eight nine it's gonna be against the Edmonton Oilers so I just want to see if the prodigy can really perform as a number one right winger and if uh, Coochie is much better as a second liner because none of the uh, the first lines were doing great other than Kucherov coochie has been doing decent uh, Coochie has a great nickname that just that nickname just happened right there coochie coochie baby uh kucherov is i don't know he's always just a little bit behind clark and a little bit behind S stamkos and i think if we give the prodigy the chance he can really make a difference out there look at vince Ryder's penalty minutes holy shit uh he had like eight penalty minutes there he had 155 and now here's 162 jesus man this guy is a penalty machine he has some value though that's the thing he's a good player even get a penalty there uh he's a good player though like he's he can definitely put the puck in the net when he gets the opportunity and uh, i feel like he's uh can put up more points as a forward but i feel like just uh for his stats and the kind of type of player he is he's a better defenseman and uh losing two games there losing some games uh so up against the Rangers here, who did get rid of Rick Nash last episode. They traded him to uh, the Arizona Coyotes, and then Cunhackle made the All-Star team. Can you believe that crap? I don't even know if we lost or if we if we won there. Uh, it was that a win? That was a 5-2 win. There we go. So we're going to slow sim the last two games against the Wild and against the... Um, and against the Edmonton Oilers, 5-1 to one victory there, 38-15-4. and four. That is what I like to see, boys. That is what I like to see. All right, let's go. First period against the Anaheim Wild. Wow, the Anaheim Wild. Yep, new franchise. There we go, the Anaheim Wild. Uh, the Minnesota Wild here. Let's go. First period, one nothing. Nino L. Nino Niederreiter from Pack Attack. Second period, still one nothing. Third period, come on. Times eight. Let's get this over with. There you go, Sprong only got 14 goals or something oh Parise comes right back and we lose two to one but Sprong's been really struggling on that second line so hopefully bringing down Kuchi can make uh can bring his stats he got 15 goals they had 13 last time so uh last game here against the Edmonton Oilers they're 25 25 and 6 or something so not a very good record uh the Prodigy looks like he's getting a little bit more goals there on the first line so that's nice uh John Gibson 28 wins I think Papini yeah, yeah Papini was like 10 and 1 last time Time. So hopefully he can get some more starts here. We're going to do the trade deadline in this video. I'm not going to make any huge gigantic moves, but I am probably going to get some depth for the playoffs because when we had Stamkos injured, that sucked. That was no fun at all. I was not okay with that. That really hurt our team. So I don't want that. Uh, we've got the O pretty much scouted. Let's go in the Q. We haven't really scouted them too much. Then I'll go defenseman next time. So this will be the 10th game. After this 10th game, we'll, we will review the stats. Remember, the Prodigy had 35 and Kuchi had 37. So, I love that name. Why didn't we call Kucherov Kuchi before? Kuchi. Kuchi, Kuchi, Kuchi. Uh, if you used to watch Jersey Shore, Kuchi has a different term, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's check their stats, player stats. Season. There we go. Here we go. 
I think that uh, the Prodigy is gonna. He had 35. So let's see how many points he has now. Uh, so it wasn't really great. I um I was expecting more. They didn't really do much. Uh, so Coochie had 37, 38, 39, 44, and 42. He had five points. Uh, and I mean, th and he only had four. The Prodigy only had four. Uh, okay, alright, that's a bit confusing, but I'm going to go with it, because we were winning games there, so I'm still going to keep uh, Kuchi on the first line and put the Prodigy on the first. That's weird, uh, Dylan Sprong, Daniel Sprong, who's Dylan Sprong? I feel like I know, like, a Dylan Sprong, I went to high school with, like, a Dylan Sprong or something. Uh, but that's basically it, Ryder, nine points, 126, that's what, that's why I put Vince Ryder on the point, plus 26, boys. One of, the freaking, like, one of the best plus minus on our team. You guys are saying he's a penalty machine, blah, blah, blah. Plus 26. Look at that. Look at this. What a stud. What a stud. Plus 26. That's what I like to see. We're going to keep them on their, uh, on the lines. We do have the trade deadline approaching right now. And I do want to get some depth, like I mentioned earlier, because hopefully we don't lose anyone big in the playoffs. But, I mean, knock on wood, if we do lose somebody big in the, in the playoffs, I want to have some decent players who can come up and can fit the role for our team. Uh, can the Prodigy hit 30 goals before the trade deadline? One game to do it. And I don't think he did it there but no he didn't maybe he did i don't know i didn't really get to uh look at it but on the treading block we're gonna put blake clark steven stamkos no we're gonna put um let's put kuma there because we're not using him no we're not gonna put kuma depth defenseman for when uh if somebody does get injured i really have nobody to put on the block that's the thing really have no we can put nylander on the block um just because if there's anyone who does want him. I don't want to put Sprong on the block. I think that's really it. Uh, Vadanen, no. Wilson, we could chuck on there. I guess that's fine. I don't think we're going to make too many moves, if any. Oh, he did hit 30 goals. That's that's good. That's good. Good job for the Prodigy. Back-to-back -back 30 goals. No sophomore jinx for this guy. But uh, I'm quickly going to go over all the teams here and just look at what players are being given away. Maybe we can get a decent player for somewhat of a steal. Oh, man, Zach Cassian would be such a nice player. Maybe get maybe get Cassie in for the second line. Uh, trade Coochie. I don't know. It's I don't know. Really, no, probably not gonna happen. But I really like that Cassie. Eighty-eight overall. What a ten. We're gonna try a trade here. We're gonna try Stefan Nosen, who is a eighty overall fourth liner. He was playing in the NHL this year, but he's gonna be a depth player for us for Garant, who is an eighty overall twenty-six year old. Uh, gonna not even gonna play on our team. So hopefully that goes through. Yes, it does. Stefan Nosen. There is some more. Uh, there is some more depth for the playoffs. Hopefully uh, we don't really have to use him, but if we do have to, he's still a decent enough player to uh, take in there. So looks like there's a first for Raquel and a bunch of random players and Taylor Hall went to the wild for a first Jake Allen and Nino Niederreiter wow that's a blockbuster trade wow Austin Lotz uh wow tons of deals going on right now we got Eric Stahl Rick Nash got traded and then Taylor Hall to the wild wow that is a blockbuster deal right there that is a crazy 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 trade so we got that Stefan Nosen guy I do want to get actually no we have a bunch of decent defensemen enough wow man Florida is just cleaning house they acquired McCollum a first for Devin Dubnik wow McCollum what? Oh, no, no, never mind. That was for this one. Jonathan Blum and Jason Zucker there uh, thought it was for Dubnik. I'm like, what? McCollum's a better goalie than Devin Dubnik. What the hell? And then Zuccarello went to the Rangers. Holy crap. But I don't think we need any defensive players because we do have Tyler Kuma, who's not even playing, and we do have uh, Austin Levi as well. So I think we're covered for defense. We've got Stefan Nosen. Uh, that's fine. That's just okay. Actually, for Stefan Nosen, that's a good... Okay, yeah, it's going to be fine. Uh, we'll go for after this game, and then I'm going to make one more move, get a new four fourth liner. We'll get that Stefan Nosen in here and take out Karong or whatever. St. Karong, because he's actually a centerman, and uh, he's got 21 points. You know, he's doing decent. Let's keep him there. Uh, let's keep him there. There's no reason for us to change what's working. He's got 20 points on the fourth line. That's that's good enough. That's good enough. We'll put Nosen... Oh, he's going to go through minor. He's going to go through waivers. Uh... Pfft. No, we'll leave him there. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave him there. We'll leave him there. We'll leave him there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the. Uh, don't worry about that. Not gonna worry about it. Let's just continue on with the simulation here. Thirty goals for. Um 
the prodigy, 52 assists for Clark. Man, Clark and Stamkos together is just nasty. That is just such a nasty pairing. Like, that is Joe Sackick, Peter Forsberg all over again. Like, Lemieux and Yager, Gretzky and Curry. That is just awesome. That is the next big tandem in the NHL. That is just awesome. Uh, 32 goals for him. Up against the uh, Taylor Hall lists Edmonton Oilers. That is weird. That is so weird. Taylor Hall. And I mean, Taylor Hall was moved to a division rival, too, right? That's so weird. Uh, we might be having the best year in franchise history right now. I think we have like 15 games left. And we have 45 victories, six victories actually. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we have one of the best years in franchise history right now. One nothing lost there against the uh, LA Kings. Against the LA Kings, up against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Up next here, how's their record looking? Not very good at all. Kessel, JVR, Fanuf, and Reimer still have the exact same core as they have now, and we shut them out. No goals for you, Kessel. No goals for you. Up against the Wild with Taylor Hall now. The uh, man, can you imagine like Hall, Parise, and Granlund? Ew, that's a nasty line. That's a nasty line. We do win three to one there. Clark has 35 goals. Up against Kadri and the Flames. Kadri and the Flames. We win two one. 50 wins. Can we hit 50 wins? Can we do it, boys? Can we do it? Up against the Arizona Coyotes with Cunhackle. And yeah, we do. That is exactly how I wanted to get 50 wins up against Cunhackle. That is what I like to see. We could possibly hit 60 wins here. How many games left? 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If we run the table, which I I don't know if we can hit 60, but that's still crazy. Uh, oh, it's still available. We can still do it. We can still do it, boys. Uh, I want the Prodigy to hit 40 goals, though. That would be nice. That would be nice. I don't know if he hit 40. Holy shit. 51, 14, and 9 against the Devils. Two of the best teams in the league. Oh, they ruin our 60-win dream with a 4-1 to loss. But I don't know if the Prodigy had 40 goals in his rookie year. He might have, actually. I actually think he did. I don't know. But I'd like him to hit 40 goals. And it's definitely possible after getting a hat trick in that game. 38 goals now. Only two more. He's on a hot streak. Can he do it here? Oh, we got one more. It's going to do it in this game against Montreal. If not, this game is definitely going to do it against the game in Buffalo, for sure. No question. 40 goals for the Prodigy. Oh, 2 nothing. Come on. Get it against Buffalo. Get it against Buffalo and Sam Reinhardt. Let's go. 40 goals for the Prodigy. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Let's go. At least hit 40. 40. Don't end the year on 39. Do not do that to me. Do not do that. Do not do that. Uh, scouts. Oh, ruin it. You're ruining everything, Scouts. Uh, let's go some defense. Throw some D on that bitch. Uh, defense. Six weeks in the queue. There we go. Let's do that. And we got four more games left here. Four more games. Slow in the last two games against the Blues. Come on, Prodigy. 40 goals. Let's go. Oh my god, 3-1, not getting it yet, not getting it yet. Up against the Oilers, and we hit 40, hit 40, 41, there we go. That's another hat trick, holy shit. There we go, good job, buddy. 41 goals for the Prodigy. We'll slow some in the last two games just because, see if we can get up to 45. Let's go, first period, one nothing. J-Bo, second period, 3-2, uh, Vatten and Clark, Bacchus and Oshi. TJ Soshi 3-2 come on boys come on prodigy let's get another goal here Sprong baby let's go let's go 3-2 no 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 I don't want this loss oh come on oh we, we tied it we tied it with 53 with 53 seconds left oh Nick Spalling that's how you do it baby and we win it in OT we win it in a shootout oh we lose it in a shootout Hayden Fleury went to Carolina in the draft he's gonna be a stud for them hopefully I actually have him on my hut team and uh, he's really good juiced up to like 99 but Anyways, uh, I'm going to slow them one more actually against these Sharks. Can we hit 56 wins? 56 looks much better than 55. I know that. Come on. Let's go. Up against the San Jose Sharks. Another California rival here. Uh, let's get the Prodigy to 42 goals. Let's do that. Come on. First period. And St. Croc. And it's close. But uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Hurdle. Thomas Hurdle gets one there. Second period. 2-2. Two -two. Christopher Stieg. He's still around. What? You're still alive? Aren't you like 49? It's like eight years in now. Um... 35 to 20 are the shots. They are completely outshooting us. Oh, Alberect. 
Alberect. That is a terrible name. Much like Cunhackle, you suck. Uh, we, d we end the year with two straight losses. So we are definitely in the playoffs. No question about that. Uh, how did our HL team do is the question. Let's go ahead and check them out really quickly before we figure out who we get to play in the playoffs. They 45, 18, and 10. Not bad at all. Yanmark, 74 assists. My goodness. That is crazy. Uh, that Yanmark guy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Okay, hold on a second here. You have entered a you have entered into a truly elite realm. Uh, very few GMs can claim they have a legendary career. You, my friend, can. It has been a pl it has been a pleasure to watch you learn and grow over the past six years of your career. I am proud. I am so proud of what you did. Great job. Thank you. But we have bigger fish to fry right now. Cun hackle in the first round. Cun hackle, baby. Oh my god. This is going to be a series to remember. I hate playing the Coyotes, and they know it. They definitely know it. Uh, GM Tracker. Was this one of the best years we've had in history? We had 115 points. No, we had uh, in 2015. Or yeah, in 2015 we had a much better year. We had two. We had 120 points. Uh, goals four. We scored 100 and 247 goals. That was the most goals. Oh no, never mind. We never mind. We, had, we scored 275 last year. Only allowed 170 goals. That is excellent, 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 excellent. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and check out the stats. Wow. Cun Hackle in the first round. This is going to be epic. Cun Hackle. Oh boy. We got to injure him. We definitely got to injure him. Uh, we finished number two in the NHL behind New Jersey. They had 123 points. We had 115. Goals four. We finished number one. Scored the most goals in the NHL. It is very nice. Goals against 170. We allowed the fewest goals and scored the most goals. We're doing something right for sure. Least goals against. Uh, power play. We're 26. Ooh, our power play was poop. Uh, penalty kill. We're two. Penalty kills great. Home, we're 37 and 4. Wow. And away, we're 25, 15, and 1. So there we go. There is the team stats. Check out the player stats, and we'll call this one an episode. But wow, Con Hackle, I cannot even wait. We need Vince Ryder to just destroy him. Like tear his ACL, break his spine. I don't even know. Do something. Get this guy out of here. So uh, oh, wow, Stamkos had 95 points. Wow, almost another 100-point year for Steven Stamkos. Uh, uh, Blake Clark had 84. Not bad. I wish he scored a little bit more goals. Maybe 30 goals would be kind of nice. But he has a pretty good offensive stats. Um, but there he is, 84 points. Not bad. Back-to-back -back years of more than a point a game. You cannot ask for more. He's almost a point-a-game player throughout his career. 241 points in 246 games. So you can't really ask for anything more than that. Uh, the Prodigy, yeah, he did have a 40-goal year last year. So he had a much better year this year. Those learned like he really knew how to play uh, a f complete game this year. Plus 25 compared to his minus 2 last time. Kuchi had 54. I don't like Kucherov at all. I want to trade him, but you guys continuously tell me, no, 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 don't trade him. I had a decent year. His best year ever. His best year ever. Uh, 54 points. Dry Saddle had 51. Not bad at all. You can't really complain about that. 39 assists. Honka had 43. Good for him. Good for him. Uh, Fowler had 37. Vadanen had th 33. Sprong only had 32 points after having a 50-goal year last time. That's disappointing. St. Karak had 27. Uh, there we go. That's oh, Okay, so uh, Murphy had 15 points, minus 6, 119 penalty minutes. Ryder had 11 points, plus 31. Can you believe? Why is his plus minus so crazy? That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Nozin didn't really play at all for us. Rookie goalies. Don't have rookie goalie. Goalies. Uh, Papperty went 13-2. and two. Uh, Gibson went 42-20. and 20. So you could argue he could have gave Papperty a bit more starts. But uh, with the way that John Gibson was playing, uh, it's fine. It's, it's just okay. Um... Points overall in the NHL. We finished number one. Al oh, Getlaff. Still a 91 overall. Wow. Ah, uh, maybe that was a mistake trading him, but... We did get Steven Stamkos for Ryan Getzlaff. So, 1-2 and two in points. Uh, Nikita Sherbeck, who actually, I think, went to the Bruins in the real NHL. I'm pretty sure he did. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he got drafted to the Bruins. So, that's kind of cool. 87 points for him. The Nuge had 84. Clark had 84. Uh, Brandon Perlini had 80. Who's this guy? Perlini. Uh, drafted in 2015. I don't, know, I don't even know who he is. Uh, Galchenyuk had 80. Anders Lee had 79. Taze had 79. Druan is at 85 now, and he had 
78 points. So good for Jonathan Druin. Uh, that's a top, that's your top 10 there. Rookie goaltenders. Looks like Tarda now at 85. Wow. He is a stud of a goaltender. Wouldn't surprise me if he's like a 92 overall by the start of next year. Uh, and then Victor Datsuk. Rookie skaters. Rookie skaters. Ronald McEwen had 47 points as an offensive defenseman. That's sick. Uh, Bruy Less now at 84. I want to pick this guy up for sure. Um, do we trade maybe uh, Coochie for Broyolette? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So that's how it's looking there. Defense. Quickly check out the defense. I'd like to see what defenseman. Uh, was a, holy shit. Oh, I thought it was 107 points for him. Uh, looks like Ryan McDonough was the best defenseman. 40, 52 points. 40 apples. Runblad had 51. Doughty, McEwen. We weren't even up there, hey? Uh, who's this guy? Xavier Olette. Who Xavier Olette. He looks like he's turned out to be pretty good for Detroit was 12th in defenseman scoring. So that's not bad at all. Oscar Clefbaum, there he is. So that is going to be the end, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Before I go ahead and end this one off, I do want to go ahead and turn on the injuries so I do not forget for the playoffs. And yeah, it is time for playoffs against, against Cun Hackle. You guys heard it. Against Cun Hackle. Hopefully Vince Ryder drops the gloves, breaks his spine, breaks his leg, and makes him go and cry to his mama. So I'll see you guys in the first round against the Phoenix Coyotes.